Let P be the statement 2 is a factor of n, Q be the statement 3 is a factor of n, and R be the statement 6 is a factor of n. Okay, so statement A says if 2 is a factor of n and 3 is a factor of n, then 6 is a factor of n. Express this statement in symbolic form. So 2 is a factor of n, that's P. 3 is a factor of n, that's Q. And 6 is a factor of n, that's R. So we have P and Q. And if P and Q, then R, that's an implication. P and Q implies R. Um, you can put parentheses here to be extra clear, but the order of operations for um, symbolic logic always puts the implication last, so the parentheses are not necessary. Let statement B be 2 is not a factor of n, or n is not a factor of n, or 6 is, not a, is a factor of n. Express statement B in symbolic form. So 2 is not a factor of n, that's not P. 3 is not a factor of n, that's not Q. And 6 is a factor of n is R. So this says not P or not Q or R. So now we're going to use a truth table to determine if statement A and statement B are logically equivalent. So my truth table starts with the three original statements, P, Q, and R. I'm going to need um, a not P, a not Q, um, a P and Q, a P and Q implies R, a not P or not Q, and a not P or not Q or R. So I'm building up these two statements from their basic, their base statements, P, Q, and R. So I have P, Q, P and Q, and P and Q implies R. So that builds my first statement, statement A. Statement B, I need a not P, a not Q, and an R, I already have it. And then I need the not P or not Q, and then the not P or not Q or R. Okay, so now I have to make my table. All right, so now I have to put in all the possible combinations of true and false for P, Q, and R. So P could be true, Q could be true, and R could be true. Okay, they could all three be true. That's the first possibility. Then my next possibility would be true, true, false. And that's all the ways I can have true, true. Then I could have true, false, true. And then I could have true, false, false. So those are all the ways that P can be true, right? It can be, they can all be true. I could have true, true, false, true, false, true, or true, false, false. And then P could start, P could be false, and Q, can, Q and R could both be true. And then P could be false, and we could have true, false. P could be false, and we could have false, true. And then we could have false, false, false. Okay, so one um, handy thing you can do to remember how these truth tables work is that if you have P, Q, and R, you, you do four trues, four falses for P, then Q alternates true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false, and then R alternates true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. When it's just P and Q, it, look, it looks like the Q and the R columns, right? True, true, false, false. True, false, true, false, and the rest you don't need because then it just repeats. Um, so it's just a, just a thing that you can remember to help you come up with all the possible combinations of true and false. All right, so now we just have to fill in the truth table 
Um, you'll notice I've highlighted the final statements that we are trying to determine if they're logical, logically equivalent. This was statement A, this was statement B. What I'm looking for when I'm done with filling out this whole truth table is that these two columns will be identical. If they are exactly the same, that means that they always have the same truth value um, and then thus they are logically equivalent. All right, so we'll fill this all in. So not P just changes the truth value of P. So every you want to look in the P column. Every time you see a true or a false, write down the opposite. So we have false, 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 true, 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 true. And then not Q, that changes the truth value of Q. So I have false, false, true, true, false, false, true, true. P and Q, I have to look at the P and the Q column. For a P and Q statement to be true, both P and Q must be true. So for the first row, I have true, true, so and the and statement is true. True, true, true. True, false is false, because it doesn't have two trues. True, false, false. False, true, false. False, true, false. False, false is false. False, false is false. Next, I want to do P and Q implies R. So if you remember, um, an implication is only false if the if part is true, but the then part is false. So I'm looking for P, the P and Q column to be true, but the R column to be false. So if you look down the P and Q column, there are only two places where P and Q is true. So I really only have to check two um, values in the R column. I'm looking for true, false. That'll give me a, a, a false for P and Q implies R. So here I have true and R is also true. So that's true. But here I have P and Q is true, but R is false. That's the only place in this whole column where P and Q is true, but R is false. So that's my only false. Everything else is true for an implication. The only way an implication can be false is if the if part is true and the then part is false. Okay, so now for not P or not Q, we are looking at the not P and the not Q column. And because it's an or statement, I need at least one true to get a true here, one or more trues. So I have I'm starting with false, false, so that is going to be false because I don't have one. Then I have another false, false. Then I have false, true, so I get a true. False, true, true, false, true, false, true, 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 true. All right, finally, I want to do not P or not Q, so I have that column already done, or R. So you can think of it like having parentheses there. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the not P or not Q column and the R column, and it's an OR statement, so I'm looking for at least one true to get a true. So I have true, false, that's true. Then I have false, false. Then I have true, true. Then I have false, true. Oops, I messed up the one before that. That one is true, true, so it should be true. Okay, then I have R is true, not P or not Q is true, so I have a true. Okay, then I have false, true, so I get true. Then I have true, true. And finally, false, true. So I've got another true. Okay, so now I can compare statement A, the truth values for statement A, 
and the truth values for statement B. And if they are identical, these two statements are logically equivalent. And you can see that they are, right? True, true, false, false. True, 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 true. So those two columns are exactly the same. So I can say that A is logically equivalent to B.